Well, I'd like to call the first meeting of the Pet Friendly Task Group to order. I want to thank everybody for joining us today. Uh, to open the meeting, I'm going to call roll first. Uh, just reply present or here. Uh, first, Michelle Gentine. Here. Uh, Lisa Merrick. Here. Kieran Houston. Abby Black. Here. Uh, Michelle Warner. Here. Betty Ackley. Here. Bill Bussert. Nicole Bredesen. Here. Kate Hodges. Here. Uh, Christina, rather Christine Potter. Okay, let's go back. Uh, and is Bill here, Bill Bussert? Yes, apparently I did the mic here. Very good. Uh, and Mike, your name? Mike, Mike Heimbach. Okay, and then Christine Potter. Okay, next item on the agenda is to recite the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand and join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, next I'd like to uh, go through inter introductions. Uh, if you please uh, mute your phone until you're called on. What I'd like you to do is uh, tell us your name, um, if you rep represent a particular group, and a little bit about the pets in your life. So I'll start out. I'm Mike Vandersteen, mayor of the city of Sheboygan, and I had a, a, a beagle when I was a young kid. Uh, our family had a, a, a lab mix, uh, Kaya, and uh, when Kaya passed away, we ended up with two grand dogs, Claire and Dakota, both labs, one yellow lab and one black lab, which we enjoy having to the house along with our grandchildren. So with that, I'll turn it over next to Michelle. Please unmute and introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Michelle Gentine. I'm on the board of the Sheboygan Humane Society for the last three years. Um, I've had dogs all my life. Um, little guy, Cosmo, which I was trying to get on camera, but he's being shy right now. So I'm happy to be here and part of this group. Welcome, Michelle. Uh, Lisa Merrick. I'm Lisa Marek. Uh, I am the operations manager for the Sheboygan Humane Society for going on 10 years. Uh, I grew up on a farm, so I had, you name it, animals. Uh, currently, I have two dogs and three cats, and usually an office cat with me every day, or dogs. Well, welcome, Lisa. Is Karen Houston here yet? Yeah, I'm uh, Karen Houston, and I'm also with the Humane Society of Sheboygan County, and um, yeah, I've had all kinds of animals uh, around my entire life as well, and currently have um, two dogs, an English Mastiff and an English Bulldog, so, and I'm, I'm also glad to be here. I, I'm really appreciative that you got this up and, and running there, so thank well, you. Well, welcome, Karen. Uh, next is Abby Black. Abby. Hi, I'm Abby. Um, I actually work for the city of Sheboygan, uh, but was interested um, 
I think I have a little bit of a different perspective. I have three ferrets and a rabbit. Um, and my ferrets love going for walks. So we've kind of, uh, I guess, skated under the, you know, no dogs in the area. Um, yeah, excited to be here. Welcome, Abby. Next is Michelle Warner. Hi, I'm Michelle. Um, I'm just, I just live here. I am new to town. I'm used to being pretty involved. So when I saw this, I wanted to jump at the chance because it's weird to move somewhere in the middle of a pandemic. Um, so I don't, uh, I don't represent any organization, but I've grown up with dogs my whole life. And I currently have a, um, a rescue. He's basically a black Irish setter. He looks like a setter, but he's black. So he must have a little bit of lab in him. Um, and yeah, we're excited to be in town and excited that you're um, you're putting this on. We're from Denver where it's like dogs everywhere and no rules. So um, getting used to it here and figuring out, <clears throat> out how I can help. Welcome. Uh, Betty Ackley. Hello, my name is Betty Ackley and I'm the District Court Alder Person here in Sheboygan. I'm also um, a volunteer at the Humane Society as a cat cage cleaner. <laughs> And currently, I have three dogs and three cats. The majority of them have come from the Humane Society of Sheboygan County. And I am really excited to be here and be a part of this group. So thank you, Mayor, for looking into this pet-friendly task group. Welcome, Betty. Uh, Bill Bussert. Hi, everyone. <clears throat> My name is Bill Bossard. Uh, we moved here about 28 years ago and we love the community. When this came up, uh, we had one dog, uh, Ben Walker. We had several other dogs when we first moved here. Our work life became busy. We're both now retired. And when I read this, uh, it was fantastic. I thought I just really wanted to be involved and uh, uh, get, to, get something going here. Because it is difficult uh, having a dog and finding places to go and uh, you know, be a respectful citizen of the community. So again, thank you, Mayor, for getting this going. I really appreciate it. Welcome, Bill. Thank you. Uh, Nicole Britt Bredesen. Good afternoon. I'm Nicole Bredesen. Um, I traveled around, but my family lives in Sheboygan, so I finally settled down and bought a house here. I've got two beagles, and they're both rescued. Uh, female and a male. Welcome, Nicole. Uh, Kate Hodges. Uh, hi, my name is Kate. Um, I've been a volunteer at the Humane Society of Sheboygan <laughs> County for a few years, and I've had four dogs over the last 20 years, all pit bull breeds and all from the shelter. Um, I guess being a pit bull owner, I'm very aware that you have to be a responsible owner. So I thought that input would be helpful. So, thanks. Welcome. Uh, Christine Potter, is she here? Then we'll go on to Mike Heimbach. Hi, Hi everyone. I'm Mike Heimbach. Uh, my wife, Vicki, and I, we live here in Sheboygan. We have two corgis, Walter and Uli, and in about a month, Corgi number three will be joining us, and his name is Tao. Very good. Welcome, Mike. And then Joe Curlin. Joe's an ex officio member of our group. He's our parks and superintendent. Joe. Joe, did you unmute, Joe? Hi, everybody. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I'm, I'm also looking forward to getting this going, and I think there's a, a, a lot of room for improvement in parks and other areas. Um, so, And I also have basically had a dog all my life growing up, and um, I still have a pug mix, but my wife and I swear this will be our last dog, but I look forward to dog-sitting my daughters and my sons in the future. Welcome, Joe. Uh, next, I'd like to go on to items for discussion and possible action. First of all, uh, as mayor, I'm really not technically a member of this group. I just set it up. But uh, we're looking for somebody to be the chairperson of the group. And at this time, I'd like to open nominations for chairperson. 
I would like to uh, nominate uh, Betty Ackley, Be excuse me, Betty Ackley for chairperson. Thank you for the nominations. Is there a second? I'll second. Thank you. Uh, Betty, would you accept the nomination? Yes, please. Thank you. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? With that, I uh, entertain a motion to cast a unanimous ballot for Betty Ackley. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Uh, next, we have a position of secretary open. I'd accept nominations for the position of secretary. I'd like to nominate Abby Block. Is there a second? Second, Betty Ackley. Thank you. Do you accept the nomination, Abby? I do, and while I'm unmuted, can I ask who seconded uh, Betty's nomination for my notes? Was that Bill, was that you? Yeah, it was me, sorry, I kept missing the mic. <laughs> okay, and who has a second on this? I'm I, doing Mike, you nominated for both. Very good, I guess that's an acceptance. With that, I'd entertain a motion for a unanimous ballot to be cast for secretary. So moved. Who, 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 Second, said, Betty Ackley. who first, who made the motion? Bill? I did, Bill. Very good. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Congratulations. Betty, or rather, uh, Abby is our secretary. Thank you for uh, those two people stepping forward to help us out with those positions. Next, I wanted to review the playbook for pet-friendly cities. I hope you had a chance to connect with the link that was on your agenda and take a look at uh, the playbook. Um, does anybody have any, any comments or things that they saw that really kind of uh, caught their eye in the playbook? It's a really complete, uh, uh, gives us a lot of things to consider as we go forward with this committee. Mr. Mayor, I'd like to speak if I may. Please go ahead. Betty Ackley. Um, I did go over the um, files yesterday, and I think that this is a fantastic opportunity. Um, I'm really looking forward to hearing from residents here in the city of Sheboygan to see what we can do to make this a more pet-friendly city. But I thought that this playbook offered us some fantastic ideas of how we can get started. I guess I'd like to, to say that, you know, I'm kind of concentrating on the, the things in here that uh, say if you're a city, but there's a lot of other things that we could take advantage of and the things that if you're an animal welfare advocate or if you're an individual citizen um, or if you're a business. Um, so I guess my real goal in here is to, to move us forward uh, to become more of a pet friendly city, to take you know, uh, the survey and do the inventory and assessment and, uh, and be able to be certified uh, by the Mars Corporation as a pet friendly community. So I'm really looking forward to uh, our work in that area and that eventual outcome. With that, I'm gonna turn it over to Betty to uh, run the rest of the meeting. Okay, so the next item on the agenda was to look at the survey questions and the online assessment. I think we've already kind of covered that with the playbook. 
Um, we need to discuss uh, when the next meeting will be and how often we are meeting. I am unsure of that. I apologize for not being aware. Mr. Mayor, do you have an idea of how often we are going to be meeting? Well, you know, you, normally a committee like this will get together once a month. Um, you know, if there's something important, you might be able to call a special meeting. Um, you know, we set this meeting up based on the doodle poll that everyone responded to. And if we'd like to continue to meet on a Wednesday at, at noon, uh, if that works for everyone's schedule, we could continue that. Or if uh, the group would like to meet on a different day or time, we could also consider that as well. So um, I'd like to ask if everybody is comfortable with meeting on Wednesdays at noon, once a month, at the end of the month, around this time of the month, so it would be the last Wednesday of the month. I'd be in favor of that. I'm comfortable with it. Bill Buckers, I'm comfortable. It's great with me. The 26th is National Dog Day. My wife has it on the calendar. Okay, so um, the last item on the agenda. Well, let's let, let's ask for Betty. If we start. could go back a little bit and talk about the the survey um, included in the um, the documents that you received on the Pet Friendly Cities book, they they do have some suggested survey questions. And I guess what I'd like to see if we have some volunteers that would be interested in going over those questions. And while this may be worked well in some other communities, are there any other questions that we should consider uh, when we do a survey and maybe bring that back to the next meeting with a, a blessing that they cover all the bases? Or if uh, they have some suggestions they'd like to propose to the group for additional questions. Would anybody like to uh, volunteer to be on the on the survey subcommittee? No, Dr. Sure that I'm willing to help. Michelle Warner, I'm happy to do that. Betty Ackley, I'm happy to do that as well. Okay, that sounds great. Um, so, Lara. Lisa. Okay, we have four. Well, I would like to be on that as well, if there's space. And this is Michelle Gentine. I would join it as well. Okay, so then that subcommittee will have to decide when they want to meet to, uh, to uh, look at the survey in greater detail. Um, I think we sent a roster out. I don't know if we had everybody's email ad addresses, but I think you can pull it off the email and uh, that, that subcommittee can make their own decision on when they'd like to meet to work on that. And then um, the next thing would be uh, the pet friendly online assessment. So um, I set up a basic uh, account for the city in their program and they're asking for us to gather demographics, pet statistics, uh, animal welfare and adoption and organizations or programs, public parks, trails and green spaces, uh, business um, with pet friendly policies and programs, uh, pet homes evaluation, Um, looking ahead in your community, top pet related city priorities. So this is something that after we do the survey, uh, we can look at, uh, at doing this, this assessment. Is there anybody who'd like to get involved with uh, doing the assessment? I think I could be helpful in that capacity, hopefully. Okay. I can help as well. And the names are, that's uh, Kate Hodges. And who else was the first one? Uh, me. Abby. Abby. Very good. Okay.
Here, I can help with that too, since it's uh, parks and that. Okay, so we have our second subcommittee that will be working on the assessment. And uh, what I've done is gone in and pulled out all the pertinent questions that they ask. Uh, so that I'll turn that over to Joe so that he can work with the committee on, uh, on all the answers to the uh, questions in the assessment. Um, turn it back over to Betty then. Okay, so then we um, kind of, we already covered number four, so now I am looking for a motion to adjourn. I'm not sure I made a motion to adjourn the meeting. Do we need a second? Second. Okay, Betty, you want to second that? Okay, that was all in favor of adjournment, please say aye. 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 Thank you very much for your time. This meeting is...